Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi, hello, welcome to our groovy little family here on the internet. For today's video, I'm going to show you everything that I got in my most recent little Ulta haul. There are some makeup things and a few non-makeup things that I will show you at the end that I won't be using in this video, but just come on with me, let's try them on and get into this video. Okay, so the first thing I got is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. It comes in this super shiny packaging. Very cute. <laughs> my bad. Let's open it up. You guys, I'm sorry. My allergies are so bad today. The pollen count is so high. And I've been sneezing my head off all day. So don't mind that. Okay, and this is what it looks like. Just like this. Very beautiful. Has the same look. Feels very luxurious, nice and heavy. And the reason why I got this foundation is because I seriously have the driest skin right now. And even when I wear a foundation that's not necessarily like matte, like I wear like regular foundation that has a natural finish, for some reason my skin sucks all that pigment up like it's a freaking sponge and I just look matte no matter what and it's ridiculous. So anyways, I'm hoping this is luminous enough to keep my face looking fresh and hydrated all day. I also got a new foundation brush because I'm tired of using a sponge. I mean, I love blending my makeup out with it, but sometimes I just need something a bit quicker and I wanted a nice brush because all of my nice ones that I used to use for MAC have just gotten so overused, so old and so dirty. So I just want to kind of freshen that routine up a bit, you know? But anyways, it just came in a plain plastic little thing. Let's open it up. It comes with the little plastic thing. Let's take that off. Nice and sleek. Let's feel it. Honestly, it feels pretty dang soft. It's very dense. There we go. Very dense. Um, it feels very soft. I have high hopes for it. So let's try these out together and see how it goes. All right. Okay. It comes in a pump. Hallelujah. I'm just going to put that. Let's start with one pump. I'm just going to put that on the back of my hand. Keeps coming. Keeps coming. There we go. Okay. I, I did too. But by the way, this is in the shade... 220N. All right, just dipping my brush into there. Let's get started. All right. So I did not buy this in person. Of course, you know, I bought it online, but I didn't get the chance to like see the colors. So I feel like I did a pretty dang good job of getting the color right because it matches my neck pretty well, which is what I was looking for because my neck is actually quite a bit lighter than my face. First impressions from the brush. It's very soft and it's very easy to get into all the crevices like under your eyes and around your nose. Very soft and because it's so dense, I feel like it still gives you nice coverage even though this is more of a medium coverage foundation from what it says, so we will see. <laughs> at the end I just like to stipple it just to make sure it gets rid of all the little brush marks if there are any because this one is so densely packed it doesn't really do a lot of that it's pretty minimal but I like perfection so that's what we're doing okay so far my skin looks very healthy and juicy and beautiful so so far I like it a lot all right you guys next I got a bronzer from Kylie Cosmetics and it is in the shade Toasty. And this is what the packaging looks like. The back of it looks like that. And here is the front. It actually has a little dent in it. I think it just must have gotten damaged in shipping or whatever in the back. I don't know if this, I mean, it doesn't matter, but it is a little crooked, but whatever. And for some reason, it's a lot smaller than expected. I don't know why I expected it to be a little bit bigger, like when I saw them in videos and stuff but it's actually smaller than I thought. But anyways, I open it on up and here it is. It is a mid-tone bronzer. I like how she has this film on the mirror instead of sticking like a loose one on top of the compact. Is that what it's called? I don't know. But anyways, it's a pretty color, so I'm hoping I like it. I haven't tried any of her 
products other than her lip stuff, so I'm excited. So let's try this one out. I'm just going to take it, dab my brush in there. Ooh, fallout, which I don't mind. I don't mind fallout, just so you guys all know. And I'm just going to start bronzing the side of my face. All right, you guys, so it performed pretty dang well. It's pretty dang pigmented. Yeah, I like it overall right now. I think it is a tiny bit patchy, but that's probably only because I didn't set my foundation with a powder, but I really didn't want to because I wanna keep my skin look looking nice and juicy and glowy. So it's honestly not that bad. Um, by the end of the makeup look, I think it'll all look really good. But anyways, I do think her packaging is so cute though, and it feels nice and sturdy and cute. Um, I like it. Sorry about all these little flyaways as well. I'm still trying to figure out how to best part my hair and it's just not working out for me. I think we all have those days though. Okay, and the next thing I got is a blush sticks from ColourPop and it's their little cream blushes on a stick. It looks like this, the packaging, and it's in the shade more is more, let's like that. Let me just pop it out of there. It feels actually pretty dang good quality for the price, like it feels really good. It has this cool little um, stamp on the top and this shade, did I say the shade already? More is more, if I didn't, whatever. Let's just open it up, it looks like this. Um, I like how it has a little bit more sheen to it actually, it looks really good. I don't like my matte, my blushes to be super matte because you know I'm not a super matte girl so I just explain this over and over again but yeah anyways I dropped something okay so I don't want to mess up what I did underneath because a lot of times when you go in with sticks some of them don't do this but they do have a tendency to just like erase everything that's already on your skin so I'm just going to put this onto my hand and it feels Creamier than I thought it would. It's very slick, if that makes sense. And I'm going to just grab this stippling brush and I'm just going to tap that in there and then go right onto my cheeks and see if this bad baby works. So there it is with one cheek. I hope you guys can see that, but I do need more. This is supposed to be a vivid coral color. Um, this is what it looks like on my hand, if you can't see it very well on my cheeks. So it looks like on my hand, so I'm just gonna go back into that. Do this cheek. Um, it's applying really well, actually, and it looks nice and juicy, so that's good. Just gonna apply that. I always apply a little bit right here to my nose and my chin as well. You guys, I forgot to put concealer on before all this. <sighs> that's okay, I can put some on in a minute. But anyways, the blush, let's just talk about that. I actually really like this stuff. It's very easy to spread. So if you're like on the go and you just want to use your fingers, it seems like it would work great with your fingers. Um, I love the sheen that it has. It just leaves you looking very fresh. So I like that about it. I'll probably buy more of these knowing me. So yeah, actually this is one of my favorite products so far that we've tested out from Ulta. So A plus. Only gonna put on a tiny of concealer today because like I said, I didn't put it on when I'm supposed to, so I don't want it to like ruin everything that I've already done. But this is life, right? <laughs> we all mess up at our makeup sometimes. Someone, if you know how to like fix calyx and stuff like that, please leave me tips below, please. I beg of you. Okay, the next thing that I got on my little haul to Ulta is a new brow pencil because I was using the brow pomade, but for some reason I just lost all my luck with it. And I don't know if it's quarantine and not getting my brows done or whatever it is, but I'm doing them myself so they're like not as perfect, but it just was not looking good. And so I feel like I needed a pencil or something that was a bit easier and still had a lot of precision. So I needed another brow pencil. So I also got the one from ColourPop and it's their Brow Boss. Ooh, open it on up. It looks like this. I got it in the shade Brunette. So it opened it up. 
It's a little twisty thing, so just twist it up. And maybe if I put it really close, you can see. Yeah, uh, there we go, that's better. It just looks like that. So it's really fine, and let's hope it works wonders for my brows. I just finished the first brow and honestly that was so easy I loved it I have used the elf brow pencil before and the revolution pro before and the elf one is just too waxy and it just doesn't look very clean and the revolution pro one is like harder like it's not easy to apply as this one so this is my favorite that I've tried so far it's way easy it's pigmented a plus. All right, so the next product I got are these lashes and they are the Ardell Wispies. If you watch my channel, you know I love the Demi Wispies, but I wanted something a little bit more dramatic, but also still natural looking. Um, so I decided to try these out and I feel like these are just like a step up from the from the Demi Wispies, if that's making sense. But yeah, so I'm gonna actually finish my makeup. I'm gonna do a little bit of eyeshadow and something to put on my lips and then we will put these on. Okay, now we can stick these bad babies on. Okay, so the glue has not dried yet, but it's so weird. They are longer than the Demi Wispies, but for some reason they feel so much lighter and I don't know why. But you guys, I really love these. They're so fluttery and flirty and beautiful and you can honestly barely feel them. I'm going up a little bit closer. Maybe if I look down, you guys can see how fluttery they are. Again, um, the glue is not dry. <laughs> also, I'm just gonna take the brow pencil and I'm gonna just refill in my mulligan because the foundation kind of erases it and we wanna keep our beauty marks, right? They're what makes us us, so, or what makes you you, so we do it. Don't cover them up, girl, let them Okay, and now I also got a few other products that I'm not using in today's video because they aren't makeup related, but I will use them in another one, so stay tuned for that, but I do want to show you what they are. Okay, so I needed a new cleanser, and The Ordinary is so talked about recently, and so I'm going to try them out. So I got The Ordinary, it's their squalene cleanser or squalene, please don't attack me, I don't know how to say it. But anyways, it looked really good, they say it kind of starts out as like a jelly, not a jelly, like a gel and then turns into more of like an oil, so it removes your makeup really well and also cleanses really well, so, but anyways, it looks like that. I'm very excited. It honestly looks super simple, but something about that makes it kind of elegant too. Does anybody agree with me? Anyways, very excited. This cleanser isn't that hyped, like I haven't seen anyone else use it, so it'll be my first opinion. Okay, and now this one I am so freaking excited for. It has been all over and I'm like, I want to try that. So it is their peeling solution, which is their exfoliator. And it's their AHA 30% BHA 2% peeling solution. It's just a little exfoliator. And I don't know if any of you have seen this, but it looks like this. We can never get it there. So it looks like that. Um, it has the frosted glass. Very, very simple, but yet pretty. And when you open it, it has its little dropper. And the reason why it's so hyped is because it's like blood red. And it looks like you're putting like blood all over your face and it's like this cool texture. But anyways, I don't know if it's gonna work out. I do have a little bit of sensitive skin and they say it's not the best for sensitive skin, but it just looked really cool and really fun. So I'm gonna try it. <laughs> I hope it works out, but if not, I can always like give it to somebody else like a family member or something that wouldn't mind using it. I'm hoping it works out because 
it looks so freaking cool so i want to try it by the way like has anyone ever had one of those actual blood facials where they put like your plasma back into your face but i personally would never do that just because i'm not gonna go through all that trouble for that and i don't know if that actually works anyways but that is just not my thing. If it is your thing, I salute you. Congratulations. I'm more of a just like trying cool things like this girl. Anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you haven't subscribed and you're new, please do me a favor and click the subscribe button down below and join this groovy little family. And I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Mwah.